I'm Chris Martin. And I'm Jerry Herb. We're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of interpreting flow testing data. Now that we've gotten all this data, we need to make sense of the numbers. So we have it all written here on the sheet. I've got the nozzle, the engine pressure, discharge pressure, rig, the 100 foot mark nozzle pressure flow and nozzle reaction. So let's just pay attention to the plumbing for a minute. The big gauge was 135, the little gauge was 130. I could take a different colored marker and write the difference between those two and it becomes very obvious what it is. The rig is where it came off of the swivel. So if I were to, for example, be looking at the big gauge when pumping, I would be losing 15 PSI just in my plumbing. The difference between the rig and the first 100 foot mark is 35 PSI and the 100 foot mark and the nozzle pressure was also 35 PSI. So that tells me the friction loss per 100 feet of this particular attack hose is 35 PSI per 100 foot. It's valuable information to know when building a pump chart, for example. So what I can do is then just keep adding nozzles to this list, testing them then in the same way. Whether I want to try different nozzle and hose combinations, I want to try different discharges, or even two and a half. I would lay out two and a half exactly the same way, and essentially I create a funnel. So I'm going to have to test a whole bunch of data points to really drill down and see exactly what it is that I need. The last point of data is the nozzle reaction. We get that from the Brass Tacks Hard Facts App Calculator where you can just punch it in and get that number. The lower, the better. Depending on what type of conclusion you're looking to draw from, you have to look back to what your objective was. So if our objective was to validate what we were flowing out of these pre-connected lines, and we had someone that was working off of the engine pressure gauge, this 15 PSI loss equates to a loss of flow. So rather than flowing 160 gallons a minute, if we weren't flow testing and identifying this loss, we'd only be flowing 135 gallons a minute. We'd be under pumping our 50 PSI tip objective by 15 pounds. The NFPA 1962 standard gives us a simple template approach that can accomplish many objectives. If we were looking to do a complete NFPA 1962 test of the rig, we would gather this information for every discharge. If we're utilizing this approach for a hose and nozzle evaluation, it would bring it down to the point where we would have an obvious recommendation. If we were using it to validate discharge flow on every discharge, we'd have the ability to capture our plumbing loss and identify that we're not flowing what we may think we're flowing. Utilize the standard based on what your objectives are and it'll bring you to the information that you need to make a decision if it's needed.